My name is Tim Kauser. We farm here in Nevada, Iowa, very central Iowa. And we're a diversified row crop operation as well as feed yard. We grow seed corn, seed beans, and, a, and of course both commercial corn and beans. A little bit of sorghum. Uh, we prioritize on high yielding corn and custom seed corn. We live in Iowa and sometimes it goes straight from summer to winter. We don't have much of a fall. And so with that, some of the crops don't get harvested until the last part of October into November. Due to that reason, uh, a lot of those corn stalks don't ever get a chance to break down in the fall. They'll wait till spring before they start to biodegrade. Uh, with our heavy, tight, black soils, uh, no-till is really not an option in a cold spring. So you're forced to do aggressive tillage to incorporate some of that residue. And we're trying to reduce costs and reduce that heavy tillage requirement and make an easier management system. So really anything we can do to size residue and to get to break down quicker uh, in hopes that we could do less tillage in the future uh, and let more biology break that down rather than mechanically, uh, we would be in favor of that. Our corn head had several years worth of use on it and the OEM stock rolls were pretty well worn out. So at that point in time we had to make a decision whether we trade corn heads and if we do, do we go to a chopping corn head? Chain roll was an easy purchase decision. We decided that this was a very economical way to get the similar benefit of a chopping corn head and spend a lot less money. But also, one thing that a lot of people don't talk about is it uses a lot less horsepower. And so we're able to get similar benefit without um, slowing down harvest. We used it in both high moisture corn all the way through to dry corn. And we didn't have any plugging issues with it. Uh, the stock rolls are very well machined. They're, they're very precision and so they fit together very tight and that's what makes them work so well. And we're actually a little bit surprised at how close they, they intermesh. Uh, so it's, it's fun to watch them work and you can see them from the cab. You can see it through the deck plates. They're aggressive so it helps pull the stock down without breaking the stock. One thing I will say is the performance of them kind of is correlated to your header speed. And so the faster you run your header, the more aggressive they become. We like to run our corn head a little bit slower to reduce the impact of the ear. We still run the, all 24 of the original rolls. We've not broken any teeth off. They do show some wear at this point in time, but they've been through a lot of acres and they've, they've sized a lot of residue. Um, you know, everybody hits something out in the field and I'm surprised what we've been able to hit and not had to replace any. The biggest thing is, uh, it does speed up breakdown of the residue, but also it helps that residue flow through any tillage equipment. And we've got a, a couple pieces of tillage equipment that like to plug, especially when it's just a little bit wet out. So we started on a field where we only harvested about 10 acres of it with the chain roll, whereas the rest of the field had the original worn out OEM rolls on it. When we went to go use our European disc through that, uh, we had plugging issues with the long stalks from the OEM rolls. The second you crossed over into the 10 acres with the chain rolls, uh, it, it went through that machine without plugging. And, and also, this, the residue did not blow away. It still attached to the stock. It's just sized uh, uh, better. So a uh, 360 chain roll was a successful purchase because it's equivalently priced with other rolls on the market. It does a lot more work than, than the original rolls that came on our corn head. It allows for faster residue breakdown. You know, we're, we're all about growing high yielding corn and the higher the yield, the more residue there is. So we like to, uh, to size that and have more biological activity break that down rather than tillage.